Hawaii's coral reefs are dying. And legislators, including the Hawaiian senator, are looking for the cause for why their coral reefs are bleaching. Oh, but popular science knows. You know, popular science, the same ones that promote nuclear. They're blaming the Hawaiian coral reef die-off on sunscreen. Yes, sunscreen. Yeah, it's so poisonous to say one drop of sunscreen could take out about 10 Olympic-sized pools of coral reef. Just one drop. That sounds almost as poisonous as radiation, doesn't it? The waters surrounding Hawaii's eight main islands contain more than 410,000 acres of coral reef. It's a shame that our sunscreen might be killing them. Yeah, such a shame. Let's blame the sunscreen and not the obvious, like Fukushima. The sunscreen is a smoke screen for the real reason why this once beautiful lush tropical paradise is going to be home to several many mutations. And get this, they're blaming the sunscreen for the mutations, yes. The coral concern is caused by oxybenzone. A chemical which absorbs the sun's UV radiation and gives some, but not all sunscreens, their protective benefit. But oxybenzone might also kill off coral reefs. Now, in theory, this is probably true to some extent. Probably coral reefs, probably sunscreen isn't good for a reef. I agree with that. I don't think people should use sunscreens. It's bad for you. I mean, they found sunscreen causes more cancer to people than the sun does itself. So I think that's completely ludicrous for people to be taking sunscreens. There's natural things you can do to protect your skin. Heck, just wear a freaking hat. Cover up. Mangoes actually have a sunscreen protection in them. So you could actually rub some mango on your skin if you wanted to. So don't get me wrong here. I don't... I'm not promoting sunscreen as a... Uh, healthy alternative here but I see deception here Hawaii State Senator Will Asperio introduced a bill that would ban the sale of sunscreens containing oxybenzene within the state of Hawaii there's a reasonably good chance it will pass and become law you know what if you just switch sunscreen for radiation you might just cure a lot of these problems that you're having Hawaii Really? Ban radiation in your water. Espiro and others came to this conclusion on the strength of a few studies. Down found that oxybenzene is toxic to the symbiotic algae that live within the coral. In addition to giving coral their colored appearance, the algae also provide the coral with much needed oxygen and help part away the coral's waste. When the algae die off, the coral turns white, referred to as bleaching which is a dire sign. With less oxygen and more waste, the coral struggles to survive. Oxybenzene is more toxic to plants when those plants are exposed to sunlight. In other words, the very reason we wear sunscreen makes our sunscreen uniquely toxic to coral reefs. Yeah. Whenever we coat ourselves in sunscreen and hop into an ocean near a reef, we don't just risk harming the algae that live inside the coral. The coral themselves are put at risk directly. When coral cells are exposed to oxybenzene, aka radiation, it damages their DNA, causes harmful mutations. Hmm. We know radiation can cause harmful mutations. That's a fact. We know that Fukushima has not stopped, and it probably will not stop for a few thousand years, at least. So yeah. Um, I think I'm going to say it's the radiation that's killing me the more than the sunscreen. I'm 
oxybenzene can kill at least seven different types of coral, and it doesn't take much to do it. A single drop in a 4.3 million gallons of water can have a harmful effect. Jeez, that sounds a lot like radiation, guys, doesn't it? Coral reefs are some of the world's most productive ecosystems. They form nurseries for roughly a quarter of the world's fisheries. More than a billion people depend on the reefs for their livelihood. That's right, more than one-sixth of the world's population depends on coral reefs for their livelihood. NOAA found that Hawaii's coral reefs earn the state more than $356 million annually in tourist revenue alone. When you factor in other benefits, such as fishing, well, it's no wonder the state is pondering a ban. Yeah. Don't want to tell tourists that it's the radiation that's killing the, the coral reefs and the fishing industry. No, it's their sunscreen that they're bringing from Hawaii that they've probably been bringing there since the 40s. Also, you know, Hawaii, they were one of the states that just approved the Paris Climate Change Accord, which would also mean that they support nuclear technology, which is quite devastating to the island already. You think that uh, they would wise up about that. Hawaii, you really want to protect your reefs? You need to be talking to TEPCO. Yes, this beautiful paradise is going to become a radioactive wasteland. And the millions of species within our oceans are rapidly facing an extinction level event. But let's blame these people with their sunscreens. I'm sure that's the main reason, guys. Right? Yes. Mm-hmm.